Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. And first off, I want to mention before we get into the actual video topic, I'm using a different mic. I'm using actually my, uh, I got a new Logitech headset. Uh, or actually, earlier in Christmas, is a headset I used to have uh, that I broke, but mainly I just needed it for uh, a backup mic. And my Blue Snowflake actually I dropped that a couple times and it's been knocked around and actually fell off my desk. One of the cables got yanked and I didn't feel like, you know, having to solder it back on or anything. So, I'm going to be using this mic temporarily. Um, actually, a lot of people who made it sounds a little bit better. Some people say they like the snowflake more. Um, this one's a little, maybe, you know, take me a while to get used to speaking to this one because uh, my audio may be overshot or, like, too loud. But anyways, um, I'll be ordering a new condenser mic, hopefully this Friday, you know, like a Behringer product or a uh, Samsung, not only for my videos, but for podcasting as well, since that's a huge thing. The only problem with this is I have to wear an actual headset. The snowflake kind of just sat on my desk. Anyways. Uh, enough wasting time here. This video is for uh, a feedback video. This was posted over our channel at youtube.com slash digital dojos. Uh, we put this feedback module up and uh, recently we got one of these that says uh, four people wanted me to do this one. Um, it's possible to have Windows freeware cool apps um, and they said how they used to love how Duncan used to do that and personally I agree with you guys. I used to love it when Duncan did those videos. I'm a good friend of Duncan's and fortunately he's been busy. He has, like I said, um, I've been taking over the digital dojos channel uh, because, you know, they have their own things to do, and they barely have time for their own channel, so I respect that, and, uh, I would try, I'm gonna try to do my best in, uh, giving off my favorite freeware, this is specifically for Windows, I'm gonna try and do another edition later on for the Mac, for my, uh, on my MacBook, but this one is specifically for Windows OS, so that's Windows 7, XP, and Vista, but this one, uh, my, my OS is obviously Windows Vista, or Windows 7, so with that, let's get right into the actual list video, etc. So, okay, um, I don't have all the websites for the software up here, but I want to start off with my uh, social networking. I kind of categorize the apps I use, and they're all freeware. So, social networking-wise, uh, the main app I'm using right now is called Seismic. Now, this is a great social networking app that allows you to post to all your social networks, Twitter, or Facebook, and all that. It's kind of all those content aggregated into one simple-to-use app. It's cross-platform, and you can use it across multiple uh, devices and stuff like that. Uh, Twirl is another favorite one of mine. Yeah, you can search it up. Twirl, uh, it's an old one. Uh, the previous makers of Seismic made that. It's also a great uh, Twitter client. Ping.fm is an old one I use. Also, that goes to all social networks. TeamSpeak. Now, that's one I have open right now. Actually, I can pull that up. I'm in the Dunks web server here. Uh, this is the server for Minecraft, actually, or his Minecraft server. So, yeah, this is a uh, TeamSpeak 2. That's what I use to uh, talk to uh, Duncan and all of them. Uh, now going down here, uh, Skype, Skype, uh, Skype, obviously you guys know what that is, that's just, uh, your social networking client, I can, I don't think I can pull that in, because I have some contacts there to reveal, but that's a voice over IP client, XChat, that's an IRC client, that's another one you can check out, it's a really, really great software for, you know, connecting to chat rooms, moving on to the next topic, the, uh, big one, browsers, now really, the two ones I'm going to recommend is the one I'm using right here, which is, uh, you can't see, but it's Firefox, this is just, my, I pull this down here. Firefox, one of my main browsers. I've also been using Chrome a lot lately, and a lot of people have switched over to Chrome. So, whatever your preference is, Firefox or Chrome, those are the two I'm going to recommend. And again, they're both free. Uh, productivity, this is a big one because I use a lot of productivity apps. Um, Evernote. Evernote is a great, great, great note taking uh, application. And I thought I had this open here. This allows you to, I can actually just go to the website here. Uh, it allows you to take notes on multiple devices again, iPhone, mobile device, laptops, etc. And it basically just syncs everything, uh, keeps everything organized, audio notes, all of that. Just a really useful app and, uh, you know, really great way to keep notes in sync on multiple devices. Again, Evernote. And I've done a video on this in the past. All right, and I think my team speak just went off there, so I might want to mute my audio. All right. Anyways, uh, carrying on. Open Office. I did a video on this. Open Office is a uh, free free. Uh, what do you call it? How should I say? This? It's a free. Uh, this is not for the one I'm talking about. It's a free uh, Office application suite. Sorry, stumbled there. Um, this gives you stuff like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all for free if you don't want to get the Microsoft Office suite. So yeah, Open Office. I've done a video of that as well. Next up is Feed Reader. This is my RSS uh, reader I use. It's a simple one, very nice for Windows. You know, simple gets what gets everything done. Just aggregates all your RSS content that you put into it. Uh, it's a desktop client for reading your RSS feeds. 
All right, next one is Display Fusion. Now, this is another one, great one I use. It's a great, great multi-monitor tool that does a lot of tweaks. This allows you to extend wallpapers. It allows you to do the multi-monitor taskbar. I use Ultramon for that, but that's a paid software, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. Again, hotkeys, customizable title bar buttons. So if you are using double monitors, triple monitors, uh, you know, whatever, how many monitors you're rocking, Display Fusion is a great, great multi-monitor tool. So do check that out. There's a free version and a paid version, so... Uh, check out the free version if you don't want to go in and buy it. All right, uh, Dropbox. Dropbox is another great online backup solution. You can uh, basically sync apps to your uh, Dropbox account and access it from multiple computers, Mac, PC, Linux, and or uh, mobile devices. So that's just a simple file sharing or online backup sync type application. Next up is Thunderbird. I don't have a link open to this. Basically, this is the uh, email client I use. I'm not going to open that up right now because I have some email address, or obviously email in there. But that's my Thunderbird. Uh, you don't use Outlook. I use Thunderbird. It's free and it's easy to use and it's built by the same guys who made Firefox. And that's the Mozilla company. Alright, f.lux. I've done a video on this. This is running in my taskbar. Basically, what this does is takes your time and location and uh, it, a, it actually adjusts your monitor's color settings and brightness down to wherever time it is in your day so your eyes are adjusted easily to your monitor. So it's really nice. It takes users' location and stuff like that. Notepad++. This is the actual application I'm using right here. It's a great replacement for Notepad. It's a little bit more fully functional. Not a full editor like Microsoft Word or anything, but just a really great to take multiple notes in. And again, you have tabs, so it's really awesome. Just a great uh, little text editor tool. All right, going down to video audio here, guys. I want to go quick. I don't want to run this video too long. Windows Movie Maker. This again for Windows. It comes in, doesn't come by default yet in Windows 7. You actually have to download this from the actual Microsoft website. Uh, Virtual Dub is another one that I have the link open here. This is a freeware again, uh, really really popular free video editing software. It's not as you know the interface isn't as uh, how should I say user friendly at first, but I mean it is a great. They have a lot of great. Uh, forums and stuff like that and, and uh, updates for the program it's it's simple to use there's a lot of tutorials out there um, so you can check it out virtual dub one of the uh, great great uh, video app video editing applications that's free for Windows all right uh, moving on media coder media coder and I actually have this opened up when I was using it but media coder is one of the great Windows applications that allows you to convert multiple files to different formats and you can see here I was actually converting my um, copy of uh, my DVD of Freedom Writers so I can put on a, what do you call that? I had to like cut up some clips for a presentation I was using. But anyways, um, yeah, this is a great application that allows you to convert media, you know, files to video files to AVIs to MP4 or anything like that. All sorts of stuff. Anyways, uh, Audacity, it's a great, great audio editing application I think I can open that real quick basically I use that for podcasting you can use it for audio recording voiceovers all that type of stuff and it exports to mp3 and stuff like that alright um as that opens up because I had some stuff open there earlier uh, Pamela Pamela is a application that works with Skype this is audacity right here um, Pamela records your Skype calls if you want to do podcasts now there's a paid version and a free version I think there's some restrictions on the free version so you can check that out Cam Studio. Cam Studio, uh, it's a way to record your screen like I am now. I'm actually not using Cam Studio. You can, Camtasia is a paid uh, recording software that's made by TechSmith. But, anyways, this is the free one. This is what I started off with years ago before I, you know, decided to purchase uh, a video editing software. But, or video, uh, what do you call it? Creation, or I guess you can say screen caps screen capture tools and uh cam studios was a great great one and i still use it if i need to like if a uh, tech or camtasia fails and cam studio is always there and always works it's great uh freeware to record your screen and you can you know do youtube tutorials and all that type of stuff fraps um fraps is one you can get for gaming if you want to record your games there's some limitations it's again free and paid version but if you want to record your games like minecraft and world of warcraft fraps will do that for you vlc that's one of the uh best video players i don't care you know what computer you're on or what platform you're on windows mac or linux vlc is cross-platform and will play almost i'm gonna say almost any uh codec any format of video or audio so do check that out vlc it stands for video uh i think it's is it video land i don't want to say video land connection but i'm i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna say vlc media player anyways great great media player simple interface and uh, again a very powerful app all right going into my last category tweaks tweaking your uh, windows system 
my one of my favorite ones, and I can actually load this up. It's called Rain Meter. I'm not gonna load up my actual desktop because I haven't worked with it in a while. But RainMeter.net, you can go over it and you can get all these crazy skins for your Windows desktop, and you can really customize the your desktop to a whole other experience here. So this is a Windows desktop here. You can see how how really categorized it is. You can get calendars, you can get little clocks, and all this. It's much. It's a huge advancement from uh, you know your typical Windows gadget. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with a uh, rain meter. So check that out, and you can go on the website and check out what other people have done and download their skins. Another one is called UX Theme Patcher. This goes for almost all Windows versions. This allows you to patch your UX theme or your UX file. Uh, which is the file that allows you to mod your Windows UI and download uh, custom skins and stuff like that. Last but not least, Rocket Dock and Object Dock are really popular ones on Windows. If you want to add that dock that is in Mac OS X, you can get you know all these different skins and stuff like that. Rocket Dock or Object Dock do the same thing. They add a little dock and you can put it on the top, side, bottom, wherever you want to put it and really customize your Windows experience. All right, guys, so these are my top favorite freeware in those categories. I'd love to hear what you guys want to suggest. I'm going to try and get a running list in the description and uh, post some links to all these applications. Anyways, I hope this answered your guys' question. You guys who requested it, I'm going to do a, a series from the Mac. Sorry, this video ran a little bit long, but there's a lot to mention. Um, lastly, I just want to mention, if you want to get more free software, a great place to look is iusethis.com. I use this for Windows, I use this for Mac and iPhone. They have free and paid software here, but it's a great way to explore a lot of software and another favorite blog of mine is called lifehacker.com you can go over here and they do a little software section as well on the top downloads for the week and stuff like that really great sites again lifehacker and i use this anyways guys this is adrian here signing off for the digital digital dojos hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next video